Have you ever been frustrated by how hard it is to transfer files from one device to another? This is 2025, it shouldn't be so hard, but it is. But fret no more, my fretting friends, because there is a solution. <coughs> our files. Let me show you how it works. So I built our files to be as simple, as easy to use as possible. So you literally just grab a file, drag it on, bam, immediately uploaded and synced. And through the magic of Convex, you can see that on another uh, browser window, it's immediately, uh, immediately updates. And you can select multiple files at once and drag them on. Bam, 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 bam. They all upload like that. Now this wouldn't be much use if you couldn't then download them somewhere else. So you can of course, just click the little download icon here, which will then open up for you to download. Or you can select a single file and drag it out to a location and it will then download to there. Um, you can also select multiple files at once and then drag them out and it will say download three files, yes. And then you can choose your location, select, yep, allow, and it downloads them all to that location. On OS X, I'm not sure what this multiple files text clipping thing is. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. That's a, a bug, but we, I might solve that one in the future. Um, but the point is I can very easily uh, get this to work on other devices as well. So let me show you by using my phone. If I just open up the IP address of my machine, you can see that I've got all of my files on there and I can drag and move them around. Um, and just like any other con convex application, everything's synced together. And then I can choose a file from my photo library. So if I choose this nice doggy picture one, add that. And then we can see, and then on the desktop, we can see that it, here it is. See that it's been uploaded. There's the doggy picture. And then I can drag and drop it out. And I've now got this on my, whoops, here it is. Now I've got this on my desktop machine. It's that easy. Yeah, and just to show you quickly how it's working a little bit, if I get, move doggies out of the way, um, go onto the Convex dashboard here, which I have running on my local host as well. Um, you can see that we have, if I, if I upload a file, we're using Convex storage. If I upload a file, say, upload another doggy again, you can see that we'll add a new file in there. And if I select some files and delete them, we should see that they get removed from here and they get removed from the files table as well. So let me delete all these. There we go. Yeah, so I said localhost there. So this is, our files is built to run using Convex's new self-hosted um, flow, work it flow. So let me just quickly show you how this works because it's really easy to get set up. So you just first git clone the our files repo, I've, which I've linked down below by the way. Uh, and then you can just uh, follow the instructions on here. If you want to get it running on your local host, it's just a simply a matter of docker compose up build and wait. Okay, everything should now be working. So if I flick back to here and I refresh, I should be able to okay, go away. I should be able to drag a file onto here. There we go, and it's uploaded, and we can see it in our um, running Convex dashboard, which is nice. Now, if you want to be able to use our files from another device, like I showed before, accessing it from my phone, you have to do one extra step. You have to scroll down to here, and you see you have to set this host IP environment variable. So if I just cancel this, and I had this before, where is it? Here it is. Um, I set host IP to be the IP address of this computer. And then that means that the front end um, website can then talk to the back end um, when it's on a, when you're viewing it from a remote device, if that makes sense. Um, so if I press enter uh, and then wait. So if I access it from my phone, if I just add a file, let's add a video this time. Okay, and we can see that it's uploading and uploaded 48 megabytes. Nice. And I built some um, smarts into it so that if you start uploading a large file, for example, and then you refresh the page, this file is now going to be stuck in a state of uploading because it didn't get to finish uploading. So after 10 seconds, the convex backend is going to detect that and flag it as an error, it's timed out, there's been no progress. 
um, so you can then delete that. The same thing goes for like if the upload fails for some other reason, network error or something like that, it's just going to time out and you get an error. So nice user experience there. So there you go, there's my little demo of our files. I hope you liked it. Um, I built this for an internal build on Convex Day, which is a, an internal hackathon. Um, the theme of the, the, the day was to build for self-hosted. And um, I was trying to think of a way that I can show off uh, Convex self-hosted and why you might want to use Convex self-hosted instead of like the cloud version. So hopefully I've done that. Um, there were a bunch of other really cool projects that were shown and I am excited to try and do a video for, for those projects in the future. If you would like to see some other projects like this that, um, that other people have built, please do drop me a comment uh, down below and I will try and get that done. Until next time, cheerio.